Hey everybody, this is Mrs. Peachy from Wisconsin Connections Academy, your marine science teacher. I am just doing this web tutorial to um, help you with the origins of the oceans portfolio that is on your agenda. So, as you can see um, on the screen, I have the lesson viewer up for marine science. And if I kind of move the viewer over just a little bit so you can see both sides, you're going to notice the course tree here. And under Unit 1, Lesson 5, it has both a discussion and a portfolio under Origins of the Oceans. So let's go ahead and click on that. And that will bring us to Unit 1, Lesson 5, Origin of the Oceans. In this... Um, lesson you will both be doing a discussion and you will be um, answering some questions. So it says submit your responses for questions one through three to your instructor by using the Dropbox on the following page. So very simple portfolio this time around. You will answer questions one to three. Oops. Not four. Let's take the highlight off that one. Explain the relationship between continental drift and the formation of the Earth's oceans. How did volcanoes affect the origins of the seas? And describe the hydrologic cycle as if you were a particle of water going through it. Now that's the one that people typically get points marked off on the most because you're supposed to pretend that you are a particle of water and from your point of view, what would the hydrologic cycle look like? Don't forget the hydrologic cycle is the water cycle, really. It is um, not just about evaporation and precipitation, right? But we have things like runoff that occurs. We have infiltration where water soaks through the ground and into the groundwater. Um, we have uh, transpiration, where water is evaporated from the surface of plant leaves. So there are multiple parts of that hydrologic cycle that oftentimes get forgotten. So don't forget those steps. Don't just give us the, you know, elementary, middle school version of the water cycle. We want the whole deal. So make sure you do some reading on that before you give me your point of view as a drop of water. Um, so very, very simple this time. Then in your discussion, you're going to put how are changes in the climate and hydrologic cycle affecting the environment and your future. So think about some of the weather changes that we've seen over the past decade here. Think of superstorms and um, those types of things that we've seen. Um, remember that you need to post a response that says to one other student's post on this question, I'm going to ask that you do a minimum of two other responses because that is the um, Connections Academy official requirement for discussions. And if you haven't noticed already, the curriculum for your marine science uses some from Florida virtual schools. So some of our Connections courses at the high school do use curriculum from Florida virtual schools. But Connections Academy still requires two posts, two responses to student discussions. And remember, for that, you're not just telling me that somebody did a good job, but you're also telling me what you agree with or disagree with and why and posting responses for future conversation. Sorry about that little uh, pause. You may have heard my phone ringing. I had to quick answer that, but um, just remember that you're not just giving us your thoughts, but also commenting on two other people. You might tell what you agree or disagree with. I find that if you disagree sometimes, that lends to a better discussion. But um, it's certainly if nobody disagrees with you, then it's kind of hard to continue from there. So not only that you disagree or disagree and what you disagree or agree with, but also why and ask a question for kind of further discussion. It, you're having a conversation with somebody. It shouldn't just be, yay, good job. Okay. If you have questions or concerns, as always, you can always call me. And my extension is 2204 
or feel free to send me a webmail message. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and be talking to you soon.